In my last blog, it was kind of fun to look at how parallel processing can be done with different GIS packages. So we looked at ESRI's GeoAnalytics Desktop, Postgres, and Manifold. We also dove in a little bit into uh, QGIS and what they were doing with the file GeoBuffer uh, data format. And if you remember, we were looking at this massive uh, data in uh, Philadelphia with 9 million uh, parking tickets along with, with zones. Today, I want to look at something that just came out yesterday. It's Manifold's first foray, or with their new product at least, into doing internet mapping. So here I have all of our data. Let me zoom in a little bit. So you can see the, all the 9 million points. And we said before that Manifold is actually pretty fast in displaying this kind of information. Go back in here again. So you can see how quickly all million, 9 million points are shown. Now Manifold has just come out with the ability to publish this information on the web, but here's the catch. You don't need a map server and you don't need a web server. You just need an IP address that's exposed to the internet. This file is called parking.map. That's all I need. Now it's got some data internally. So I've got my, uh, my parking files. I'm also bringing in an OpenStreet uh, base map in the background. So that's coming in through the internet. And I've got Postgres here that I'm bringing in the, the different neighborhoods and zones. So you can see those come on and off. So once I've stylized this map the way I like it with the different colors and also different uh, rendering uh, scales that I've put together, I'm going to quit out of this. I'm not going to bother saving that. And now I'm going to go in here. Uh, I'm in the manifold directory. So you can see I have my manifold exe, which is the manifold app. There's also something called manifold server. So in this, I'm telling manifold server, I'm going to use 127.0.0.1 uh, and then a port. And I'm saying I want to create an HTTP version of that map component for this project. And that's done. Now, let me just come in here and say 127.0.0.1. And here's my map now of the Philadelphia and the parking tickets and the zones. I'll zoom in a little bit. And you can see how quickly this begins to show up on the map. So again, this is showing 9 million objects all stylized and being displayed in our map. Now, at this point, this is all it does. So I can't click on an object. I can't turn layers on and off. I can't even zoom by a box. Doesn't really matter to me. The important part here is that they have created an application that just runs on your computer and can begin to display maps very, very quickly, even when there are hundreds of, of megabytes in size, approaching uh, gigabytes in size with millions and millions of objects. And the cool thing here is I am bringing in an open street map. I'm also bringing in zones from Postgres, and I've got data native to Manifold. So I can use this as a tunneling device to get into all different kinds of applications. So if you head on over to georeference.org, you can just uh, see again, this was just came out uh, recently on, on the 8th, so yesterday. So it's just being talked about now. People are beginning to discuss how they're using it, and then their preferences for what they would like to see come up in the future. I'm going to try to get my hands on a port that I can expose to the world so other people can come in here and take a look at data themselves over the internet right now. Again, I'm not just on my local host, but eventually I want to get this out on the internet so we can see the kind of performance that we'll experience when we have multiple people hitting the same map file.